Geology on Mars, Lesson 3.2, Evaluating Claims About the Channel on Mars. Activity 3, Using the Evidence Gradient to Consider New Evidence. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. With the image of rock from the Curiosity rover, we now have all the available evidence to build our arguments about which geologic process formed the channel on Mars. The work we are doing is similar to what scientists do in the real world, but it is also different in some important ways. One important difference between our work and the work of planetary geologists studying this channel is the amount of time taken to build an argument. Sometimes scientists work on understanding a question, collecting evidence, and examining claims for many years. They discuss and debate evidence for a very long time, all in an effort to build the best explanation about something in the natural world. In our investigation, we were able to collect evidence and build our understanding about how the channel on Mars was formed more quickly. Claim 1. Flowing water formed the channel on Mars. Claim 2. Flowing lava formed the channel on Mars. You discussed which claim you think the rock evidence supports. Which claim did you choose and why? The rock evidence on evidence card F supports the flowing water claim. The rock in the image is a conglomerate. Conglomerate is a type of rock found near channels formed by flowing water. The evidence gradient helps us organize evidence by how convincing it is. It is okay to have different ideas as long as you explain them. It is also okay to change your mind. This evidence gradient is similar to the one we've been using, but it also has some differences. It will allow us to think about how evidence and both claims at the same time. Today we're going to do some complex thinking. We're going to think about the strength of the evidence and both claims at the same time. After sorting the evidence by claim, we can then compare the evidence for each claim side by side by using this special gradient. Where would you place evidence card F on this gradient under the flowing water claim? What is your reasoning? You will now use all available evidence from this unit to think about these two claims. How you place one card may affect your decisions about where to place other cards. For instance, if the evidence on one card is more convincing than the evidence on another, you will want to change their placement in relation to each other. You will get your own evidence gradient and work in pairs to place the evidence on it. Let's go over the instructions for this activity. When scientists get new evidence in the course of investigation, they reconsider the claims and other evidence to think about how they fit it all together. Although the latest evidence is very convincing and supports the flowing water claim, it is important to still acknowledge the flowing lava claim and consider the evidence for it. Scientists go through similar processes when considering how different channels on Mars formed because there are volcanoes on Mars. First, you'll work with your partner to sort the cards above the claim you think the evidence supports. Don't worry about using the evidence gradient yet. If you have a card that supports both claims, you can place it in the middle of the gradient on the arrow. Here's what your student screen looks for this part of the lesson. Use the evidence gradient to consider new evidence. Next, you'll choose one claim to work on first. You'll work together to decide where each evidence card should go on the gradient under that claim. Remember that more convincing evidence goes near the top and less convincing evidence goes near the middle or the bottom. Then you'll think about the evidence for the other claim. You'll decide where each evidence card should go on the gradient under the second claim. Argumentation sentence starters. I think this evidence supports this claim because. I don't think this evidence supports this claim because. I agree because. I disagree because. Why do you think that? I think this piece of evidence is the most or least convincing because. Use the sentence starters as you work. Remember to discuss your thinking about each piece of evidence. Don't just place the cards all at the top or all at the bottom of the evidence gradient. Instead, try to be very thoughtful about where you are placing each card and think about why you are placing them in those locations. Complete the evidence gradient activity, placing the cards on the gradient and discussing your thinking. Examine the evidence gradient student sheet and the channel on Mars evidence cards A through E and background information triangle-shaped landforms card in the materials folder for this lesson. 
refer to the Channel on Mars Evidence Gradient instructions on your devices if necessary. You will want to remember how you evaluated the evidence when you create your own scientific arguments about which claim is best supported. Even though you worked in partners, each of you will individually record how you place the evidence. Record your completed evidence gradients. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. We've been thinking about how scientists construct arguments. As we evaluated evidence about the channel on Mars, we began to build an argument in the way that scientists do. In the next couple of lessons, we will continue to learn how scientists construct arguments. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on.